Ava is a very brass tacks type of woman. She's very straightforward. She's very sarcastic and she's very real. Um, the type of cop Ava is, Ava is a very like, I don't want to say run of the mill cop, but she is a beat cop. She loves being a cop. She has two passions, you know, like being a cop and motorcycles and sub passion guys who like motorcycles. Hopefully they are also a cop. So she is a very, I don't want to say simple, but she is. She has all of her ducks in a row. She's the type of woman who, you know, was dedicated to school, knew she wanted to be a cop. Family, you know, is a little bit rocky. So I think that it was her wanting to be uh, a police officer was born out of that. Um, and you know, she's a very, she knows what she wants and she knew she wanted to be a cop. And so she became a cop and now she's living her life as a cop. That's what she wanted to do. She sees a goal and she attains it. When I read the script, I loved how balanced, you know, it was between action and comedy. I love that. Comedy is my first love and I'm a very, very physical actor. So I was really excited to be able to employ both of those sides of myself as a performer. Um, the comedy is really special to me because it's Dax's comedy. It's very straightforward, very real, very, uh, you know, sardonic, very cynical, and all while maintaining this, like, you know, love. There's still, like, no matter how sarcastic a line is, you can still feel the person's heart beneath that comment. I love Dax as a director. Dax's style is incredibly loose seeming while also being incredibly efficient. Working with Michael Pena has been a complete dream. I have been a huge fan of Michael Pena's since the very first time I saw him on screen. He's so funny, it just oozes out of him. He can't help it. And to boot, he's an extremely fun person, respected, like he respects people. He's, he's so kind and like, especially in the scene, he's so giving. He loves trying things out. You know, he likes to play. And that's the sign of, you know, a really good actor. I mean, I remember the first day I walked right up to him and I was just like, man, you are a powerhouse. Every time you see Michael Pena in a movie, he steals the show. He's that, you know, enigmatic. He's that like special. He has that quality. And, you know, I just had a blast like hearing his whole story and listening to his jokes and goofing around with him. And I hope to be working with Michael Pena from here on out. Like he is the most fun to work with. Hey, Vali here. Well, if you are like me and love movies, stick around as I have some awesome movie trivia for you. For its American release, the first 20 minutes of Train Spotting had to be redubbed to make the Scottish accents more intelligible. Whilst filming The Hunger Games, Jennifer Lawrence accidentally kicked co star Josh Hutcherson in the head, knocking him out cold and giving him a concussion. Jennifer. Benedict Cumberbatch recorded his screen test for Star Trek Into Darkness at his best friend's kitchen using an iPhone. Hmm. Bill Murray was originally considered for the role of Han Solo in Star Wars. Independence Day was shot in just 72 days. The scene in the breakfast club in which all the characters sit in a circle on the floor of the library and tell stories about why they were in detention was not scripted. Director Hughes told them all to ad-lib. So, how many pieces of movie trivia did you know? Let me know in the comments below. Keep up to date with all the latest releases by subscribing to our channel and checking the notification bell. See you next time.